episode, I want to show you how to save your image that you've been working on in Topaz Studio 2 as either a project or as an image file for, say, the internet or to send to a printer. First off, I'm going to show you how to save it as a project. Now, I have my image open here, and you can see I have these layers attached to it. I want to save this image so in a project so I can work on it later. So all I need to do is come up here to File, click it, and go to Save Project As. Give it a name. Let's call it Forest. Tell it where we want it to go, in my case, Desktop. Now, if you have a PC, you know how to save images. You're familiar with that. I'm familiar with Mac, but this is how we do it. I would just select Desktop. Click Save, and it would save that image to my desktop. Now it's telling me, hey, one of these uh, Forest TS2s already exist. Do you want to replace it? I'm just going to say, yes, replace it. I've already done this once, so I'm just doing it again so I can show you. All right, next, how do you save an image as a file, like, say, a PNG or a TIFF or a JPEG? And the way you do that is you can either come up here and click on Export, or you can go to File and click on Export here, or you can, on a Mac, uh, type Command-E, or on a PC, type Control-E. In this case, let's just click Export. And then you would choose the file format. You click this drop down, and you have all these different file formats. You have JPEG, TIFF, and PNG. I'm just going to select JPEG. Uh, this is the name of the file. You could rename it here if you wanted to. Uh, if you want to go to a different path, right now the path is set for the desktop. If I wanted to go somewhere else, I could go to Browse and choose where I wanted to go. But for now, I'm just going to take the desktop and click on Open. And then you'd want to set your quality. You can drag the slider. I'm going to take the high quality because I'm all about quality, so I'm going to go high. And then you can choose your color profile. Depending where you're sending it, you may want to change that color profile. In my case, say I want to put it on the internet, I'm going to choose SRG, sRGB. And then all you have to do is click Export. And that's it. And you'll notice here I have an overwrite war warning. Exporting will overwrite the original image. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, that just means it'll write over the other image. If at a latter time you want to go ahead and work on your project again, an older project, all you need to do is navigate to the file folder that it's in. In my case, it's on the desktop. So I'm looking for the forest image that I was just working on. So I'll navigate to that uh, file, forest.ts2, double click on it. It'll open back up Topaz Studio 2. The image will come back up and all of my layers will be intact. And it's just that simple. And then you can start working on it again. All right. Thanks very much for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Also, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and click the bell notification icon so you can be informed of all the new training videos that I'm putting out. Thanks again for joining me today on the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I will see you next time.